Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to another video where today we're gonna to be deep cleaning my laundry room. As you can see behind me, it is pretty messy in here. There's a lot going on, so I need to pick it up first and then do some deep cleaning. I think I'm actually gonna start with deep cleaning the washing machine, so I will show you how I do that. We have not done that once since we moved in, so it definitely needs a little bit of a clean. I have bottle parts and milk and stuff in here so it just needs like i said a deep clean so let's get going the first thing i'm doing is pulling out the drawer from the washer and i'm going to take it to my laundry room sink give it a scrub clean it out and put it back in then we are going to scrub the inside of the washer drum a little bit i just have a bleach and water mixture here and i'm cleaning off the door i'm cleaning in the inside of the seal using rubber gloves and a sponge and then i just poured a little bit of extra into that seal there Another thing you can do to clean your washing machine is to use a pre-made, ready-made washing machine cleaner like this one from OxyClean that I like. You can use it as often as once a month and just turn your machine to a sanitize or tub clean cycle if you have one or just a hot wash cycle. Well, that runs, I'm gonna start cleaning out the lint tray. One really easy way to get some of that leftover lint because there will be leftover lint that's stuck in there if you don't clean it out regularly is just to use a long attachment to your vacuum cleaner. Live your life within the moment, moment, and don't go wait until the morning. Then I'm taking a microfiber cloth and a general multi-surface cleaner and cleaning off the rim of it and look how much lint was even on the door of the dryer. I mentioned that I keep bottle parts in my laundry room. This is obviously not something that everybody has in their laundry room and part of their laundry room deep cleaning checklist. So this is an additional thing for me, but I needed to put all of these bottle parts away. I also had some general picking up to do before I got to cleaning the surfaces of the laundry room countertop. Now I do like to work top to bottom when I'm cleaning, especially deep cleaning, but this countertop, there's nothing really above it. So I started cleaning here and I'm kind of moving left to right through the laundry room. This mini fridge is where I store all of my breast milk and with transferring milk back and forth, there are lots of little leaks. So I wanted to give it a good wipe. I keep a handy magnet on the outside of it, all about breast milk storage guidelines. And I also did want to clean the inside a little bit with the same multi-surface cleaner and I promise this whole video is not breastfeeding or baby related the rest of it is all laundry but I did want to share that there are some other parts to my laundry room that I needed to clean Then I'm moving on to the top cabinets. I grabbed a little step stool here so I could get up nice and high. And I am using a wood cleaner to clean off the cabinets since they're made of wood. Pull me 
I'm really trying to take the time to do all of the extra little things here so you'll see that I am cleaning off the paper towel dispenser itself. That's part of the deep clean. It's cleaning things that you might not clean every single day and just really getting in there and making sure you're getting all of those forgotten areas. And another forgotten area is back to baby stuff, but I have a drying rack here and you wouldn't think that the drying rack itself gets dirty, but there was some buildup in there and I wanted to give that a scrub and clean the drying rack itself. Once I got that all cleaned, I wiped it up a bit with my towel and let it sit there to dry and had even some more bottle and pump parts that I needed to clean in the sink. So I got those scrubbing as well and set them aside to dry. On the right side of my sink, I had some items that I needed to pick up and move around. I cleaned off the soap dispenser. I cleaned off the bottom of the candle there. It had gotten some water buildup under there and the sticker that was part of the candle actually came off under the countertop a little bit. I had no idea until I moved it. I'm also refilling my soap containers and just being conscious to do all of the little things. As we continue moving from top to bottom and cleaning, now I can do the lower cabinets again with the same wood cleaner I was using on the top. I took a little bit of a break and now everything's dry so I can clean up and put it away. The washing machine cycle has finished. I am now going to head to the washer and the dryer and clean the outside of them with my multi-surface cleaner again. If you're wondering what I'm using specifically or what types of cleaners I like to use in my glass and silicone reusable spray bottles, I do have a full video on that on different ways that you can use glass bottles if that's something you're interested in. I do sell them on my website as well as the microfiber cloths that you see me using throughout this video and typically other videos. So something else that you could do is pull everything out of your cabinets, everything out of your drawers and give that a clean as well. I didn't feel like I needed to do that, but I do have a Lazy Susan where I store all of our laundry detergents and stain removers. And one nice thing about that is of course it keeps it organized, but I guess two nice things. The other nice thing is that if anything leaks or spills, I can just take that Lazy Susan out, give it a clean in the sink, wipe it down and I don't have to clean my cabinets out because the mess and the spills are contained and with laundry detergent and liquid cleaning products you are probably bound to have a little bit of spillage and leaking. Last but not least, we're gonna move down to the floors. I have a couple of mats here. I like having a mat that I can stand on when I'm at the sink, but even more, I like having a mat that's by the washer and dryer so I can kneel down and switch things from the washing machine to the dryer, and I don't have to hurt my knees on that hard floor. 
So I'm putting those in the washer on a heavy duty cycle with some bleach and I do keep Tide around with OxyClean for more soiled loads, things like rags and bath mats. I use more of a natural cleaner for our clothing, but I like using Tide for things like the floor mats. You'll see I'm doing a two-step process with the floors here. I'm doing a first pass with the vacuum, getting any little small crumbs that might be in the laundry room or more likely my hairs that seem to shed all over the house. And that gets picked up with the vacuum. And then I'm gonna come back in with a mop and bucket. I've had this mop and bucket for a while and I really do enjoy it and it does work very well. You'll see I'm using the Method Squirt Mop here to clean the laundry room floors and it smells so good now. And that's pretty much it. That is the full laundry deep clean. I really wanna thank you for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you guys later.